Hundreds of internally displaced people are scattered around this hall. This is where they live now. The killings and communal clashes in southern Kaduna have left them homeless. They are tired of staying here but can't return to their community because it's not safe. They burn our village and they burn my house, Makaro. That is why we don't have where we will stay. That is why we come here. We are here. And our houses, no house to live, no clothes to wear, no food to eat, no drugs to take. That is how they left us with nothing. And that is how we are staying here with nothing to do. We cannot go anywhere. Just yesterday, someone left and was caught. They stabbed her and she was pregnant. Meanwhile, all our hard work in the farms have been invaded by people and cows in which they have eaten all our crops as we don't have anyone to rescue us. Several local governments in southern Kaduna have come under persistent attacks, forcing residents to find safety here. Most of the communities are now deserted. Farmers can't even go there to tend their crops. And that's leading to a lack of food. Hunger has crept in here. These camps now carry the burden of trying to feed more than 5,000 people. We wish to have more toilets in this community, in this camp. And we also need mattresses because we are, the ones we have are seriously inadequate. We only had about, we shared about 100 mattresses in this camp. And we shared over 300 mats in this camp with blankets, we shared blankets, I think over 500 in this camp. So coupled with the number of people we have in this camp, I think all these things are inadequate. Most of them are sleeping on a beer floor. Too much has been lost to violent conflicts in Kaduna State. There's a festering saw that needs to be closed. Recommendations in various reports on the zango Katav conflict has not received comprehensive response and attention from previous administrations in the state. These renewed attacks have left thousands homeless, adding to the number of internally displaced persons in the state. Something urgent needs to be done so that these persons can return back to their communities. This classroom serves as the camp's clinic. Pregnant women give beds here. Clothes are used to cover the window from cold weather at night. The clinic coordinator says there's a shortage of drugs. We don't have enough drugs. Even yesterday we didn't work because of lack of drugs. So how do you, how do you take care of children who are sick? We used to manage. So far there is no enough drugs. We used to manage. The camp heavily relies on open fires for cooking. But despite support by donors and humanitarian agencies, there's still not enough to go around. We are actually pleading with those that can support us to come to our aid because there are so many people, about 5,000 at times, and uh, the, 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 the food is not always enough at times, but we thank God that there are some people that are donating. So we are pleading with the government to settle down uh, the differences so that our people will go back. We are not even interested in staying in the camp. The Tagama camp in Equa Widows Training School, Samaru Kataf, is just one among many in the Zango Kataf area. Residents of southern Kaduna say the attack on their people is not just a communal conflict, but a religious one too. They want the government to prosecute those responsible. The narrative you hear out there is different when you come to the field. You notice that there is a one-way warfare waged against a particular set of people. Like churches are being burnt and that gives the attack a religious coloration too. These terrorists are not hidden. They come from a particular place and they retreat back to a particular place. So what is expected is that the Nigerian security forces should go in there and fish them out and prosecute them. That will serve as deterrent to others. It's really pathetic what I've seen. And uh, I think there is the need for the federal government, the state government, to really intervene in what is happening here. Because the life and properties that have been damaged here is really uh, la large.
The Kaduna State Government says a massive military operation is taking place to root out those causing instability. For now, these people are stuck here and they are not going anywhere until their communities are rebuilt and peace returned. Nisi Gebro, Arise News, Kaduna.